So my most favorite memory from the day of the, the storm was uh, we were in Orlando at, uh, I was at a conference, a real estate conference, and we had headed down there to do a couple of days at Disney and, um, you know, for me to go to the conference. And of course we had no idea the storm was coming when we left. And my mother was watching the cats, feeding the cats. And she said, we're leaving. And they just left and my parents evacuated. Of course, we're in Orlando, we can't do anything. You know, we haven't prepared the house. We, you know, we're five and a half hours away. We had no idea. And I remember at first when my dad called me and was like, there's this big storm coming. I was like, oh, whatever, you know, I was like everybody else, like no big deal. Oh, it's far away. And, and then the closer it got, the more worried I got, and I remember being in this conference of probably, I don't know, a thousand people, and I had to get up and leave because I was just crying because my house, my home is being ravaged and I have, I'm not there, and I can't do anything, and it was, it, I was helpless and I felt terrible because my father, I had just helped him buy a house like five days before the storm, and he, he, first responders had to knock on his door in the middle of the night and, and tell him to leave, and you know, he's not, infirm but he's 76 and I'm like great you know what a daughter am I I'm, I make him buy this house <laughs> then they make him leave in the middle of the night with his cat and he has to go find a hotel and it was just a feeling of helplessness because I, you couldn't do anything you couldn't you know and my parents weren't there nobody had eyes on on any of our homes um, and then we we just well we have to stay here for a couple of more days because we can't get back into the city and so I almost felt bad because you know, the day of the storm, we decided to go to Epcot and Disney, you know, and we had a condo. And so when people say, well, where were you on the day of the storm? And I say, well, I hate to tell you, but I was at Epcot. So I thought, well, that's, you know, let me just have a few more days of normalcy and air conditioning <laughs> and electricity and water before we have to go back and deal. And then my sister and her, uh, my sister and my family drove back into town, I think the day or two after the storm in the middle of the curfew they drove from mississippi five and a half hours just to come look at everything see what the situation was and they had to leave again before curfew so they drove straight here and straight back just so they could see what was going on and they snapped pictures and sent them to us um and then we came back about three or four days later we came back the saturday afterwards looking at it now it's been almost a year um, how's your life different today than it was before the storm my life I think my life is better since before the storm and and it's here are the ways um, um, my home is in better condition you know we, we were able to do with insurance money some things that needed to be done to the house not just the things that had to be done like put a new roof on we were in the middle of a kitchen remodel um, <laughs> before the storm we torn up we had no kitchen since August 27th and we were waiting, we, everything was gutted and we had brand new floors and brand new sheetrock and we were waiting for, for cabinets. And then when the storm came, we had to start all over again. But um, I got enough insurance money to do some additional things to the house. And um, I own three Airbnb rental properties. And so I was able to put up a lot of people who, you know, were here for work, contractors, families who have been displaced. There's still a woman from Lynn Haven in one of my properties. She's been there since yeah. April, and she's gonna be there through the end of October. And so, um, I mean, you know, I wasn't one of these people gouging anybody on rents, but my, my businesses have stayed occupied longer than they would during the normal season. And I think that there are some things, I mean, and I don't mean to diminish people's suffering or people's loss of, pro of property or, you know, livelihood or anything, but I think that there's, um, the storm has had a good effect on certain things that needed to be torn down before the storm and now that they are and so I think that it's going to take some recovery but in five years or so we're going to have a much more revitalized city in some respects um, than we had before so.